Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. So I said in the last video, mm, I was going to mo the most, uh, mm, uh, hello, um, the thing that most people said they wanted to see me use was the bees in the border background layering stamps that I received as part of a mystery box bag mystery crafters companion. I still have two or three more orders coming. I've only received one. That's it. I placed an order after that and got that one. And this day was the 13th of May. So I don't quite understand. I'm starting to get a little annoyed. Gosh, I get things quicker from England than I do from California. I don't get it. So, sorry. Um... This is a three-piece set, <clears throat> and they're very sticky, and I can't remember which ones are really sticky, the photopolymer <clears throat> or the acrylic. I don't know, but these were the sheets that were on them, so I knew which one was which, but they're all wrinkled up, and I don't want to mess with that, so I just put the the other plastic sheet that isn't quite as sticky on it and wrote on it with a sharpie. Anywho, so we're going to use these and I already made one. Um, I think it came out really cute. I think it's a really cute stamp set. Um, thankfully, thankfully, thank you, Susan. Susan sent me some things a little while back. Um, she sent me two of these sets of inks. I think it's pretty much the entire rainbow with the other one. But I had the yellow and the orange yellow. Thank goodness, because I had like distress. What is the yellow? Scattered straw. Uh, rusty hinge is orange. You know, so it was like, eh, these are right next to each other. Perfect. And then you, the black one's the third one. So we're going to recreate this. And I already took my cardstock and put it on a 5 by 7 card. Just layered them up. No big deal. But here's the thing. I have to move my platform here to the table next to me because if I try to stand up and do this all you'll see the camera is like right see how close I am yeah if I try to bend over my head will you'll just see my head so I'll put the stamps on here and I'll bring it over there put them on here bring it over here here there <laughs> and um Stamp them over there because otherwise it's ridiculous. Here's a quick tip of one of the things I like to do. I like to, um, before I even start, pick a spot on my paper and take a pencil and go around one of the legs. This is the um, stamping platform from Crafters Companion and the um, the foam mat. Now every time I'll know where to put even though I'm going to be on top of it, this, that, blah. I like the double assurance that now I also have a place to find for look now I'm making a mess out of my <laughs> Okay, there we go. Just stop yourself now. Great. So, mm. this is the stamping mat. It's foam. You should always stamp on foam of some kind. I also have a Sizzix one. Um, stamping just on hard, it's not as easy. Stamping on foam gives a better impression. Okay. I'm going to flip this guy over 
Start with stamp number one. Sorry, I put the wrong piece on this one. <laughs> what I do also is, you see these little, it's hard to see. If I go in further, I'm telling you, I'm going to end up out of frame and it'll suck, but let's cross our fingers. Okay. If you can see, I put that mark and this one on. They're in Sharpie. This is just plastic acrylic. You can get that off with an alcohol wipe, but then it gives me an absolute place and I'm going to put this stamp each and every time so it's lined up or it isn't. Excuse me. Is it upside down now? You see, got to make sure of these things. I'm getting cuckoo. Okay. Let's see if I can pull myself together here. Trying really hard not to be a crazy woman. All right, so now we get our inks. And these are really super cool too. I need to pop them up, but you can remove them. This is so cool. Just kind of pop it up a little bit here. And the first one is this yellow and I am an over inker when I ink I want to make sure every single nook and cranny will have ink on it ink ink times 10 million inked it and inked it ink 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 always paranoid I'm gonna miss a spot Oh no, did I miss this button? No, okay, calm down. Looks like I got it. I'm going to put this over here. And what I will do is line it up as I showed you on the thing, push it down, spin over here, and do just that. So, find my little registration marks that I made with those circles. I mean, this is just the stamping. We'll cut it to put it on the card when we're done. But still, I want it to be nice. And press. I always press a lot. I'm always afraid that I'll miss a spot. That's the other reason why I put those little circle marks, because then I can look and I can say, oh, Good, that's where I put it so I can go over it again. I think it might be a little bit of light, a little bit too light on the left side. So I'm going to, I guess I can add some more ink. I really don't have to. I think I just didn't squish it enough, but why not? So it would be this side. And a little bit more. A little bit more never hurt. Yeah, because when I flip that over, that'll be that side. Super cool. Okay. Line up my marks. My circle marks. Circle marks. That looks much better. Can you see? I know it's light. Now, i got to take this guy off. I'm going to put this guy back on the mat. And I'm going to pull out a baby wipe out of my holder. Don't tell anybody. I don't want anybody to think this is for kids. I don't want to get in trouble. But come on, people. What, what did you expect my holder would look like, right? None other than my 
very best friend, Hello Kitty. Trying to pull one up again for the next one. There we go. Isn't that awesome? I've had this for such a long time. And I love it. Love it. Okay, cool. Let me get this. I'm not going to go crazy cleaning it off right now. I just want to make sure I got enough cleaned off so that I can pick it up, take it off, and put it back. Because it's really sticky, like I was telling you. Oh my gosh. So sticky. And stamp number two. Right here. I mean, it's even just sticky there. It's just so sticky. I'm kind of confused. I don't know why they're this sticky. Now we need to make sure our stamp's going the right way. Yes, because the butterfly is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, there's one up further too, but there he is. Okay. See my little Sharpie mark? Sharpie mark. Keep it on the line there. Awesome. Second color. And ink, 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 ink. Over inking. What else is going on? Nothing. Finish making my books with the videos are exciting and I can't wait for her to see them and get this office going here my craft room whatever and New Jersey is still not open I mean my Tuesday morning and stuff is still not open but when things start to open hopefully I can get the things I need to finish this up and Eek, we'll be done, but let's not all get too crazy yet, right? You know how that is. Things are starting to come around, but things change every minute of every day, don't they? So, lining that up, pushing it down, pressing, pressing extra strong on it. I don't want anything left off like last time, especially down the middle. I think that looks good. It's looking good, right? Okay. Move this guy back. I'm going to put him on the mat. Put these guys away because I don't want them drying up. That's cool. Let's get ink all over my fingers now instead. Arr, come on, thing. Don't fail me now. We've been working this whole time together. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Wipe it off a little because I'll wipe it off more later. Not later when I'm done. I'm not gonna so many nooks and crannies it's a big huge stamp you know okay it's back on the number two thank you no oh, you like this off a little bit looks like I got ink on it and the last one number three We do the same thing, butterfly on the bottom, line it up with my little mark up there, straight across, straight down, there you go. And this one is done in black. I guess you could do any outline you want. Being that it's a bee, and bees, it's really, I think they're really brown, but they're supposed to be black and yellow, or that's what they're, you know. So, um, I'm using black, and this is Seward Superior India ink. This is my favorite black permanent ink, and I love it. And I've had it a long time. It's awesome. 
Stuart Superior has lots of awesome inks. I just happen to really like this ink. Um, it's a really good permanent ink. It's India ink. It's very rich in color. You know? Yep. So I'm inking my head off. Oh, and those other ones that Susan sent me were color box, weren't they? Yeah. Color box is called the paint box. Oh, because it was a long thing. That's so cute. So cute. Okay, let's hope that was enough. Let us hope it was enough ink. Or else we'll add more. But all right, here I go. Final one. Okay, let us get a good third impression and everything be awesome. That will be awesome. Okay, line it up, line it up, press, press, press. This ink is also, it tends to be sticky. I don't know why. I really don't, but this one seems to be very sticky. Every time I have to like pull off the it's good, but not good enough. I have to add more ink and go in again. Going in again, people. That's right. No way. Mm -mm, not happening. I normally like to add the ink in a diagonal way. I feel like it's harder to miss spots with your ink. Or, oh, all right, I got it crooked. Or, like everybody says, or I'm just not. So, these are the things that I do. That's all I know. I'm glad to start this month off on time, on track. I had the video up on the first, I was really happy, and this on the third, so I have hope, high hopes for the month. All right, let's hope this goes awesome. That one goes there, and this one goes here, here. Alright, here we go. And we press, press, press. And it's on a hard table on a phone that I should be doing. I ha I'm assuming I didn't have enough ink on before. That's all I can think of. Or <laughs> I got nothing. I don't know. Man. And that's the best I can say. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Ah. Looks okay. I think I got a little off, but you know what? I still think it looks pretty sweet. This one, of course, is better. But for doing it under pressure with everybody here watching me, that's not bad. I've seen worse things come off my uh, work desk. Work desk? Whatever guy off. So sticky. Okay. Watch out. These guys are done. So this was the first one that I made. And I felt it was a little light, so I made a second one here, which I think looks amazing. I am so in love with this. I was thinking of going around the outsides with um, yellow ink, but now I just love the way it came out. I am in love with this. So this guy is good. You know, he's all good he's just light like I didn't have enough you know but now this one is a little 
I feel like it's a little blurry. What do you think? Do you think it's just really dark? All right, I'll use the one that we did. Oh, by the way, I also did. Okay, so there was the first one. This is the second one, and I didn't care if it was too perfect because you just want to cut out a couple of, if it don't came out good, a couple of butterflies here. And well, there's another one. And I was wanting to put them somewhere on the card. I push up the wings, but I don't know. What do I do? Do you think I should use a foam tab or something so he sticks up? Do you think I should glue him onto? Oh, I think that looks cute. Look, I, I tucked him into the bow. Do you see him? Right here? In his wings. What do you think? So, one of these guys will end up on this card, and I will add another butterfly and a ribbon. I tried the yellow on this one, but I just felt it was too much yellow. So I thought this brown one was dark enough. You want to glue that B there. So all I have to do, cut somebody out um, to the front of this, and I'll have another card. So I hope you enjoyed watching me somewhat <laughs> make this card to use these stamps. They are very easy to use. You just got to really wind them up and really and that's why I really like putting the circles because then it, it ends up being perfect so I'm I hope you enjoyed this um, I got new graphic 45 paper I pre-ordered it it's so pretty I want to show that this week and I'm going to keep cleaning and crafting and stuff I still have two winners who haven't claimed their prizes on my last video. If you didn't check there, you should. And um, then email me. And uh, you've seen me get tons of stuff lately. I feel like it's bananas. Um, if there's something you'd like to see me do, let me know. I was going to make that cute box die that I got. Um, I got that car. Oh, and the mixed media for beginners. Okay, I want to do to show the graphic 45 in case anybody wants to get it because it's new. And then I have to see where I am in my life. And uh, unless somebody has something else they want to see, maybe I'll try for next week to do a mixed media for beginners video. I don't know. Let me know. And thank you so much for watching and for visiting and for all of the love you send me. You're all so amazing and I am so grateful that you are here. You have no idea. Please everyone, be well and stay safe. These are crazy times, crazy times. And you're all in my thoughts and prayers always. So stay awesome, everyone, and I said be careful. I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.